So here we have the Galaxy Note 4 running 5.1.1. And if I go to about, let's see, 5.1.1, this is the Rogers Galaxy Note 4 N910W8. And now how I achieved root is the big thing, because you wouldn't think I'd be able to, but I was able to using a method that I kind of came up with myself. I figured it would work, I gave it a test, and the next thing you know, I'm able to open apps such as Six Axis Woo! Controller, start it, and it's able to get root and all that good stuff. So, now, what I did was, I updated my Rogers Galaxy Note 4 to The latest 5.1.1 software released by Bell, which allowed me to do what I needed to. So I went to Sam Mobile, as you can see right there. I went to Firmwares up here in the tab. Then I searched Galaxy Note 4 910W8. Scroll down, you'll see the bell version right here. Regular download, and you're good to go. Now you download that file, and you're gonna want to download Odin. I use 3.10. Click AP, search the file you downloaded, which for me which would have been in the download folder right there. The latest 5.1.1 file. Click it, open it, let it search. Plug your phone in using download mode. Update manually to the 5.1.1 software. And then after that, you'll want to manually install this emotional kernel on the XDA developer site this is the title here so try and find it now you scroll down 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 and you go to the download section which brings you to another page and this is the link for the actual page that you're going to download a custom kernel which is going to prevent the root from being overwritten every time you restart your phone or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, you need to have a custom kernel to be able to prevent root from being removed every reboot. So, click on TouchWiz here. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, wrong one. You want to make sure you go to Kernel and click here. And you're going to want to click here for the download. Click on Note 4. Click on 5.1.1. And then you're going to want to download the kernel for the N910T. So you click on the little arrow here. Click Download. And then what you're going to want to do is go back into download mode on your Galaxy Note 4 once again. And you're gonna want to download You're gonna wanna search for the file you just downloaded from here. Which would be the most recent one. Download that zip file. You're gonna wanna put that zip file onto your phone. And you're gonna also need You're going to need Team Win Recovery for your Galaxy Note 4. You're going to have to install that. 
recovery onto your Galaxy Note 4 by going into Odin download mode and loading the most recent recovery which is not 2.860 which is actually for our phones right now is TWRP 2.8.70 TRLT Canada <clears throat> load that onto your phone using Odin and as I said this emotional kernel that you load onto the SD of your phone or just the internal storage you're gonna install this kernel using touch Rui's recovery mod which you just installed using Odin which was your second Odin install then once you've installed the emotional nightly kernel onto your note 4 using touch Wiz recovery you'll want to install super user the latest super user which you can download from here install that using touch Wiz recovery and for team win recovery whatever you want to call it and you should be good to go you start your phone and that shoes working